Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about low-frequency minefields. <laughs> kind of a play on words here, but there's so much low-frequency energy distributed in our rooms that I understand people are trying to come up with ways to position your speakers and listening position to avoid that. You can't. I mean, it's pretty much nonsense when you understand the physics that's really involved. The internet's full of setup tips. Speaker listening setup, 95% of them are not. So it's like most of the stuff in acoustics on the internet. What, it, what is their goal? What are they trying to do? What is their strategy? Well, they're trying to avoid low frequency room modes. If you set your speakers up here, you set your speakers here, you'll avoid this, that, or the other. Well, it's nonsense. You trade one set of problems for another. That's the whole issue. Moving energy sources around in a room listening position and around in a room, you're not going to get any decent results. You might avoid a, a 30, 40 cycle issue in this position, and, but have a 60, 70 cycle issue that's even more pronounced, okay? Here's another, what was the one I saw the other day? Uh, oh, ceiling. A guy was talking about how to set up in a seven foot ceiling height. You can't run away from that. That's nonsense. And, and people that buy into this stuff, you know, do some more homework, please, because you can't avoid low frequency energy, you can't minimize reflections, and you can't run away from your issues. You got to treat, treat, treat. It's the only way to do it, okay? And there's no easy way in acoustics. If you're serious about managing the energy in the room, you have to look at what's going on in the room. Low frequency oscillation issues, 36 to 48 inches apart. How are you going to run away from that in a room? That's nonsense. <sighs> what a waste of time most of this stuff is. Uh, there's no proper setup in a minefield. You, you got to manage pressure and reflections. You got to minimize those. The only way you're going to minimize those is through treatment. The proper rate and level of absorption, if absorption is your chosen method, the proper frequency response with diffusion, if diffusion is your middle and high frequency chosen method. Diffusion is not a low frequency treatment type, okay? It's in the same classification as foam. It's utter nonsense, okay? So you want to you want to treat. We got axial, two wall, we have tangential, four wall, and we have oblique, six wall. All these surfaces of the room are acting as speakers. Some dimensions produce low frequency issues. Some dimensions produce middle and high frequency issues. You have to treat all the surface areas if you're serious about managing the issues. I know space availability and budget is always a concern. So there's a priority of treatment. First priority is to go after these guys right here. These are the loudest. There's even one louder, coincidental. Nobody talks about those. That's when you have pressure issues that w are within five cycles of each other. They're even more audible than axial. Saw a room the other day with seven coincidental modes. He goes, Dennis, this room sounds absolutely horrible all the time, no matter what I play. Well, he had six or seven coincidental modes starting at 80 all the way through 300. Of course, it's going to sound bad. He can't run away from those. He has to treat. So we have to treat the two wall, the four wall, and the six wall issues. It's just the way it has to be. We have to go after the axial pressure issues first because they're unwanted pressure between two parallel wall surfaces, not two parallel corners. More nonsense, okay? Let's stay focused on the problem. And if we treat the problem and get a good resolution, we'll have enjoyment and we won't have to run and hide and sit here and move here and be careful over here and you know you want to enjoy your room and the only way you're going to enjoy the room is to first understand the problems of the room and then apply the appropriate treatment now the word appropriate treatment opens a whole plethora of issues i get it rate and level treatment type surface coverage amount all of these issues, but they all can be resolved if you develop a strategy towards your room. The room is a fixed 
part of the equation. It has predictable and consistent problems, especially rectangular rooms. They sound better because the problems in them are predictable and consistent and can be retreated more appropriately. And just as important, respond better to treatment because of their predictability and consistency. So that's what you want to look for. So low frequency minefields, you can't position your way out of them, especially with seven foot ceiling heights. Some of the stuff I see just is maddening, to be honest with you. When you built as many rooms as we have, and you've gone so far as to be so unhappy with the treatment that's available for those room issues that you design your own and spend the last 17 years marketing those products and, and people using them and actually building new rooms with that technology, there's something to be said for the approach that we use. So low frequency minefield, you can't position your way out of low frequency problems. You can't position your way out of high reverberation times. You just can't. Treat, 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 and then you'll have the enjoyment out of your system that you're seeking. We all want more, I get it, in today's world. More, 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 best, 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 biggest, biggest, biggest. If you want to apply that paradigm to your room, treat the surface areas. Treat the floor to ceiling, the three sound fields, floor to ceiling, sidewall to sidewall, and front to rear. Don't run away. Face the problems. Spend your time that you would running away in treating the issues. You'll be way better off, okay? I always tell people, if you face the problem and treat the problem, the problem will go away. If you run away from the problem, the problem still exists. You can't hide from it. Low frequency minefields. I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.